Hey guys! Wills here, and I am back with another video. In this video, I will show you how to install macOS Ventura on any Windows laptop from scratch, and it's quite simple. First of all, I need you to stick through the entire video to get everything right. So, I have been using macOS on my Lenovo laptop for quite some time, which works very well. Luckily for me, I didn't change any of my hardware. Everything worked out of the box with the help of some text. This is my laptop spec, which might be different from yours, but the installation process is the same. Enough of the talking. Let's start by making a bootable drive. All the links to the files needed to make our bootable drive have been provided in the video description. My files are in the installation folder. Let's start by installing the mini tool partition and then Bellina Etcher. Now, let's extract the EFI file we downloaded. Actually, you can extract it to any directory of your choice, and only the EFI folder will be used. Open Belina Etcher on your desktop. Locate where you placed your Ventura DMG file and then select the drive you wish to make the bootable on. Click on Flash, and you will be welcome with Flash Complete if everything goes well. Open the mini tool partition on your desktop and change the letter of your drive's EFI partition. In my case, I chose the letter E. Click on Apply Changes, then close the application. Now, let's locate where we place our Explore++ app and run it as an administrator. Now let's locate our EFI drive and delete everything in it. Let's locate the EFI we extracted and copy it to the EFI drive. Ensure everything is done in the Explorer++ app to avoid any problems.
Since we're done, let's restart the PC and boot into our system setup. Finally, we're on the system setup page, and the most important thing to do is to turn secure boot and TPM off and make sure legacy boot is not selected. UEFI is what we need to make macOS work. Perhaps, the rest of the changes I made were personal. Now, let's restart our PC and boot into the boot menu. In my case, it's F12. It might be different for you. Select the bootable drive and wait for open core to load everything. Select reset and VRAM. Boot into your bootable drive again, and this time, select Install Mac OS. Let it do its own thing, and you will be welcome with the setup screen after it is done. Choose your language and click on Disk Utility. Our system drive will be formatted here. Ensure you've backed up all important files before formatting your internal drive. Click on View and then select Show All Devices. Click on the internal drive and click on Erase. Change your drive name and leave the rest to their default values. Click Erase and close the Disk Utility window after formatting the internal drive. Now click on Install macOS Ventura, and follow the video to complete the process. Actually, it is the same on any PC.
Now, you don't have to boot into the pen drive anymore when the system restarts. The installation will do its own thing. Grab some coffee and wait patiently for the setup screen. It's time to set up macOS, and once again, it's the same for everyone, so please follow the video to complete the setup process. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess the ignorance is bliss Take me back to be born anew Rewind to get out of cue Innocence can be a young man's game Signed up for the hall of shame I wish I knew How much I miss Finally, we're on the desktop and there is a couple of things to do before we can get macOS fully functioning on our PC. 
We need to copy some files to the desktop, which I have provided links to in the video description. Now, let's extract all these three files. Copy ESP Mounter Pro and open Core Configurator to Applications. I pasted mine in the Utilities folder. You don't have to do that. You can paste the apps directly into the Applications folder. Click on the Applications icon, locate ESP Mounter Pro, and open it. Now, type your password to install it. Now, click on the ESP Mounter Pro icon on the menu bar. Mount disk and open volume. Let's delete the EFI folder on the internal drive and replace it with the one we have on the desktop. The EFI folder on my desktop has everything to make macOS work on my PC. Restart Mac OS and enjoy. Thank you for watching.
to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess that ignorance is bliss.